Hello everyone, it's Wes Cole here. Uh, it's late at night, it's about 1.30 in the morning and it's uh, March 6, 2012, but I just really wanted to recap the day today because it was really an amazing day. And I'm talking about Monday, not now, which is Tuesday, but uh, there's a bill that's you know being considered here in Georgia and it's called Senate Bill 469. That's Senate Bill 469 and today at the state capitol here in Georgia, uh, Occupy Atlanta along with the uh, all the local and regional unions Teamsters and you know all the local unions came down to the state capitol day and uh, wow we had quite a rally man there were hundreds of people there uh, there could have been three to five hundred I don't even know it was I couldn't even video a lot of it effectively because the sidewalks were so full I couldn't even get through it but to make a long story short just to give you a little bit about what this bill is about you know and, and, you know, Tim Franzen said it perfectly on the speech today, but, you know, it kind of all seems like, you know, AT&T has recently recorded record profits, okay, and then, you know, just shortly thereafter, they decided they were going to lay close to 800 people off, okay, so what happens is about 10 days after that, all of us, you know, what happens is the Occupy Atlanta goes and decides to occupy in front of, uh, in front of AT&T here in Atlanta, tents and all, you know, and of course, you know, they didn't like that at all, so it's just miraculously or just suspiciously, you know, about 10 days later, a new law is being passed saying that you can't pick it outside of, you know, corporations or businesses or in front of governments and just basically getting rid of picketing and protesting altogether. That's what the bill is. It's basically squashing free speech and also in the bill it wants to squash unions, kill union jobs, you know, which is what it takes. Basically, if you can't make a union wage in this country, you cannot make a living. That's all I'm going to tell you right now. I mean, that's just the way it is. So anyway, but I just want to tell you, man, that was quite a rally today. If you weren't there, man, you missed out. Uh, we really, really, really stood up for the people today. That's why I love Occupy Atlanta. And I just want to say thank you to all the unions that were out there. The Teamsters were awesome, man. Your, your, your Teamster bus was amazing. A couple names I want to mention that, that, that you know, Ben Spite, you've done a lot, you know, with this, and you're, you're, you're with the unions and the Teamsters, and I'll tell you right now, man, if you want a job done right, you call the Teamsters up, you call the, uh, they will get it done, they will get the, I mean, if you want it done right, you call them up, that's the whole point, not only do Teamsters do the best work available, but it's about being able to make a living, too, so if you want it done right, you call your Teamsters, they'll get it there, and they'll get it done right, and they were awesome today. I thought Tim Franzen was amazing. He, he got a great message out today and just everybody was amazing. It was just, you know, I saw Justin, you know, Justin Soulpatch was doing some awesome things today. I saw on video. It was so much going on in Copper. I got to spend some time with him. My friend Kay Doyle was there. I mean, it was just, we just all really rallied and just, you know, we're not going to sit here and let this country try to dictate us and tell us what we can or can't do. That's not what America was founded on. These senators, and the, I mean, the people running this country basically are not following the Constitution at all. We have freedom of speech in this country, and I can promise you, Occupy Atlanta, unions, we're not going to let that go away. But I just want to tell you, you know, spring is coming, and I mean, there are, it's, it's going to be a very, very interesting spring, I'm telling you right now. The G8 summit's coming up, and you know, they're already wanting to change the location, I hear, from Chicago to Camp David because they know that we're coming, you know what I mean? And you know what? You can't run and hide forever, government, you know. You work for us. It's This country is for the people, by the people. So the quicker you start working for us and stop being bought and paid for, you can't buy laws. AT&T tried to buy the law, you know, to squash our speech. They're going to find out we're not going to have it, you know what I mean? So anyway, get involved in your occupation, Atlanta. Get involved in your occupation wherever you're at. We are here. We are here for you. We're not. We're not here to... We're not Republicans, we're not Democrats, we're people people, okay? And if you aren't involved in this occupation, then you're not really helping yourselves or your country, okay? So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up, but I just want to say, man, it was awesome today. And everybody, I didn't mention a lot of names, but every one of you that showed up today, the hundreds of you, you were awesome. Thank you so much for standing up for all of our rights. I love you all, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. It's Wes Cole signing out.